problem with that. There's only 10 listings on page one. But every SEO guy will tell you how to do it. You know, I've, um, I've been doing internet marketing since 2000 and professionally since 2003. You know, um, the first time Google did their first shake-up, I was with Perry Marshall in Chicago, and we woke up, got out of bed, and we found out about this, you know, the big Google slap. And that's the thing, Google reshuffles the deck continuously, and your listing, one of the guys there, he had 18,000 pages on his website. 18,000, right? This guy was big, and um, he ran a rehab agency in the States, in North America. Um, he went from page one to, I think, page 20. So having all your eggs in one basket with SEO um, is, I don't think is a great idea. You, know, you can do 80-20 with SEO though, just do the most important things on it. Um, I can give you a list of what the 80-20 the is. Um, you know, because basically if you do the 80-20, you'll, you'll definitely get traffic. But to get the other fine, you know, there's a sort of law of diminishing returns. Do the 80-20 and you'll get some traffic. But to get a lot of traffic, you know, you've got to buy it. But the, when you do run an eBay business, unlike if, if you're doing keywords for like lose weight, make money, all that kind of stuff, it costs you a fortune, you know, six, ten bucks a click. But when you're going for these other products that we're selling, the traffic is much lower. So the, the keywords cost a lot less. And don't forget, when you do keywords, um, you know, you, when you're buying AdWords, you, you want to make sure it's got an ROI greater than one. So if you spend a dollar, you want to make one a dollar profit. So don't think of AdWords as a cost, it's an investment. You know, I've spent over a million dollars on Google AdWords in my time, well over a million, and it makes money. You know, you get back more than the dollar. The more you collect, the less people will go. The, 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 the more details you collect, the less people will stay. So when you, when you're doing paper click, are you trying to collect details outside, or are you just trying to sell? Or? Well, if you can collect a name, you know, then the, otherwise they're gone if they don't buy. So if you can do it, if, if you want to collect names, you've got to have some kind of, you know, autoresponder type series to sell your items. Um, that works with some products, some businesses, it doesn't work with all. Have a look what your competition's doing. Sorry, sorry, can you play that? Exactly, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you can do that. So that would, um, uh, what Rick's talking about is a shopping cart abandoned. They get to the end of the shopping cart and they leave. But if you've captured their email address, you can keep on targeting them. And so capturing email addresses, of course, is, is a brilliant thing to do, and many, many businesses out there uh, won't work on the, on the AdWords model unless they do that. But selling these kind of products that we sell on eBay, it's a lot easier than selling a lot of the digital products out there. Digital products is, is tough because the competition's out there. Selling physical products, a lot less competition on many, many items. All right, any, any other questions? Yep. Yeah, um well, it can be, yeah, it depends. Yeah, you're probably talking about some kind of particular niche. You're not talking more of like about you know, a particular, like a general eBay business that sells anything and everything, you don't normally do that. But if you've got a particular niche, it's often to do it. Like, um, you know, I've done that with, before with niches, you know, um, um, you know, RC Hobby eStore, which I sold earlier this year. That one, um, I wrote an, a, a book on that for that um, called, uh, what was it called? It's um, the Essential Guide to RC Cars. And by doing the writing that book, you can write the book and then you can write all these bullet points um, about the book, but that's all actual keywords. So it looks like you're just telling everyone that you're going to give them this book for free, but what you're doing is you're actually writing a whole stack of keywords to generate a whole stack more traffic. And that's another great reason to write a short e-book, because you can get all the keywords. And you can stick it on every page. Yeah, generally that's more of an uh, internet marketing.